This is Josh at the RPM shop coming to you, uh, answering a few questions from uh, some consumers about uh, the new nitro, um, and then also how to change the poundage, um, increase and decrease the poundage, and then also what we're referring to when we talk about tiller and timing, uh, and making sure that your nitro, you're getting maximum performance out of your bow. So first and foremost, what you wanna do is when you uh, get your nitro, you're gonna to wanna to check it for tiller or make sure that the cams are in time. And what we mean by that is that this top set of cams are rolling over at the exact same time that these bottom set of cams are. If it doesn't, what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna feel really herky-jerky. These limbs are going to engage before these limbs do, and which isn't gonna give you maximum performance. So what you wanna do is make sure that the top or excuse me, the bottom and the top are rotating at the exact same time. The way that you do that is you find a point on the cams, and we like to use this lobe here where you've got the, the, uh, the crimp. We use that point and this point, and then you measure back to the string and make sure that those measurements are the same. If they're the same, the bow's in tiller, it's gonna be in time and it's gonna feel silky, silky smooth. So what we're gonna do is you're just going to put a tape measure. You can use a stick. You, uh, we like to use a, a ruler. Um, you come back to the back side of the string or the front side of the string, um, depending on what that measurement is, it just needs to match on the top and the bottom. That's how you know that you're in tiller. If your bow, if your nitro isn't in tiller, the way that you change it, first and foremost, is what you're going to want to do is take the, go to the top set of cams and on the right side there's a screw that's got a lock washer. This is going to be your timing screw. You're gonna back that off, it's got a washer on the back side, and what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna put an Allen wrench in here, and you're gonna back that off about a half a rotation. You don't have to back it off very far, just a little bit, to uh, allow this cam to move separate from that timing wheel. Then what you're gonna do is you're either going to tighten or loosen uh, the actual limb bolt, the top limb bolt or the bottom limb bolt, and what that's gonna do is it'll change the position on this cam. So it'll rotate the cam backwards or forward, depending on uh, what direction you go. If you're going to tighten the screw up, uh, you know, the top screw, what's gonna end up happening is this cam is going to rotate, so the measurement's going to get bigger, um, and it's just the opposite if you back it back off. Now, if you wanna increase the poundage of your, of your nitro. Again, it's clockwise on the limb bolt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this bolt clockwise, one revolution, then you're gonna go to the bottom, one revolution. <clears throat> and once you've done that, and you feel like you're getting pretty close to the desired weight, what you're gonna do is, again, you're gonna check it for tiller. So you're going to measure from this cam point to the string. So you're gonna come back and this cam point to the string. We're off just a little bit, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna back this one back off just a, just a hair so that these measurements are identical. <clears throat> so you're gonna go ahead and measure here. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have to tighten this one just a little bit more until you get these measurements within a sixteenth of an inch, and I, ideally you want them dead on. Uh, we're getting closer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go just a little bit tighter. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but you're going to end up getting it dead on, just like we did. And then the last thing that you're going to want to remember to do is always come back up to the timing screw up here on the top, put your finger on the back side of that washer, and tighten this timing screw up so that it's tight, just like that. And then you're back in business. Then you're going to go ahead and draw the bow making sure that everything feels smooth from the top to the bottom, which it does. And if you want to increase the weight a little bit, back that timing screw off just a little bit more, tighten up these bolts, and it'll keep increasing the poundage or decreasing the poundage, depending on which way you go. That's how you're going to increase and decrease the draw weight on your nitro, and then also check it for time and tiller to make sure that you're getting maximum performance out of your nitro. If you have any other questions, feel free to see us on our website, rpmbowfishing.com. There's a lot of tips and tricks on these nitros. Glad you got one and uh, look forward to seeing you out on the water.